Hello everyone, welcome to my The Bold and the Beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Wednesday, October 2, 2024. Steffi tells Brooke she's so glad her mom is back home. Ridge and Taylor get a second opinion, and Katie finds Will an internship. In today's episode of The Bold and the Beautiful, Taylor tells his ex that they need to fight when Ridge breaks their hug. She claims to be aware of heart failure symptoms. Ridge assures her that he will not let her go and that they may seek a second opinion. Again, they embrace while stifling tears. When they break down, they discuss how Lee provided Taylor the numbers of many doctors, the most prominent of whom being Dr. Grace Buckingham. Taylor tells him to stop, but he's ready to call. Confirming what she already knows would be pointless. I'm going to die. He mentions that his dad was the same way, but he's not giving up. A struggle is in store for us. The two of us are going to fight. Katie is a bothersome person. Will kindly discussed his internship at Forrester. She wants him to get the chance, but he's not sure if he's into fashion or Forrester. She only grammises. He knows she adores it, but all he can say is, We'll see what happens. When Willow enters, Katie presents her son to one of our top models. Willow gives Katie a little flirtatious glance before heading out the door, and before Katie can continue her pitch, Will offers to do it. A little while later, Will is spotted in the hallway by Kingsley, another model, who remarks that he's Katie's kid. She has seen photos of him at his mother's workplace. When she asks whether he's a model, he drools over her a little flattered. He smiles and looks after her as she walks away, wishing him luck with the internship. When a second intern arrives, she inquires as to Will's employment status. She would like to know him more, so she hopes he does. He smiles even more as she leaves. Brooke and Steffi discuss how happy the kids are to have their grandmother back. Additionally, Steffi finds Taylor's return home to be pleasant. According to Brooke, her feelings for her mother were similar to Steffi's toward her own. Every day she misses her and longs for more time with her. She was my pillar of support. Steffi responds, so is Taylor. Her return to Los Angeles meant the world. After expressing gratitude to Steffi for her support of Brooke's bedroom, Brooke talks about hope for the future. Steffi is aware that they are making an effort, and she also understands that Hope won't have failed because she didn't try hard enough. At that moment, Katie enters the room, informing the women that Will is transferring to this institution and bringing up the possibility of an internship. Now that Luna is gone, Steffi acknowledges there is one available. However, when Katie mentions that her kid isn't sure he's like fashion, Steffi becomes a little concerned. Katie is adamant that her son would surprise everyone, but Steffi is concerned about what might happen if she employs him and it doesn't work out. She is familiar with him. She leads Will inside after walking out into the hallway. Brooke gives him a hug, and Steffi welcomes him immediately by asking questions. You think you're not the right fit, right? Your mom recommended you to be one of the interns here. In a word, yes and no, he becomes increasingly aware that this is where he wants to be as he spends more time there. I would like to intern at Forrester. Arriving at Grace's office, Ridge and Taylor express gratitude that she saw them so soon. Making time for her future in-laws makes her happy. Then they inform Taylor that she need a top-notch cardiologist. Heart failure has been diagnosed in her. Astonished that no more testing was performed, Dr. Buckingham is told that Taylor told her physicians no. She is aware of the situation. In order to determine what they're dealing with, the doctor says she wants to undertake testing as soon as possible. Ridge presses Taylor to finish the tests even if she isn't sure. They are located in Los Angeles, home of some of the world's top hospitals. In the last minutes of the play, Katie tells Will in the hallway outside how thrilled she is that he accepted her. However, what made him reconsider? After hearing he won the position, Kingsley strolls by once again and expresses her excitement. 
adding that she hopes they can collaborate. It's me too. Katie understands why he agreed. Just make an effort to spare time for his mother and not spend all of his time with the models. Within, Brooke and Steffi converse briefly about Will before wondering where Rich is at the idea of Brooke breaking the news to him. I'm not certain. Perhaps he is with my mother. Brooke seems uneasy. In Dr. Buckingham's office, she explains the first test she wants performed, delving into specifics of a cardiac enzyme test to determine whether or not she had a heart attack. Additionally, they must evaluate the harm if Taylor had one. Grace leaves to get ready for the exam after Taylor says that it's only a blood test. When Taylor leaves, Ridge asks how she's doing, and she replies that she's just thinking about her family and how she wants to spend as much time as possible with them. Ridge gives her that instruction. Proceed from there, starting with the tests. He's sorry she had to do this alone, but she's a warrior and he assures her that she is no longer alone. Here I am. Let's work together on this. They embrace while sobbing together. This week, one of our favorite B&B baddies was referenced, which pleasantly surprised watchers of The Bold and the Beautiful. While Carter Walton was slyly making out with Hope Logan, he brought up his former partner Quinn Fuller. Is Quinn returning from The Bold and the Beautiful to cause trouble? To discover out, continue reading, Quinn Fuller stole the spotlight on the bold and the beautiful quite some time ago. Rita Sofer permanently left Los Angeles in 2022, and Quinn hasn't been seen since. She was involved in a hot and passionate romantic triangle with Eric Forrester and Carter before her departure. Spoilers for the bold and the beautiful, Quinn Fuller returns to save Carter Walton, in her latter years on The Bold and the Beautiful, Quinn Fuller became more laid back. However, we must also remember all of the scandalous plots she was involved in, including the lying, kidnappings, and infidelity. Quinn Fuller temporarily transformed Sheila Carter into a saint. Will Quinn be returning to Bold and the Beautiful? On daytime soap operas, it's often a good idea to assume that if a character begins to receive mentions, the writers are getting ready to bring them back. According to b and b spoilers, Hope and Carter will soon get heated together. It might only take Quinn learning that her ex-boyfriend is having an affair with her ex-daughter-in-law to convince her to go back to Los Angeles. Despite her recent return to General Hospital in the role of Lois, Rena Sofer is still capable of performing both roles. See how many times Wally Kurth has performed this action. Furthermore, the bold and the beautiful may choose to recast the character, as they recently did with Taylor Hayes, Rebecca Budig, if Sofer is unavailable. Rebecca Budig has fit in well, and the home audience immediately warmed up to that casting. Quinn from Bold and the Beautiful is missed, isn't she? Do you think Rita Sofer should return? So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.